Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to do factor by grouping, and this works really well whenever we have four terms polynomials, all right? So let's take a look of this one right here. We have x to the third power plus 8x squared minus 2x minus 16. So you see that we have four terms, right? And let's go ahead and just try. Factor the first two, and then factor the second two. Because there's nothing in common for all the four terms, so we do it by grouping, okay? So the two and twos. Anyway, just ignore these twos for now. Let's focus on x to the third power plus 8x squared. Well, we see that we can only factor out the variable, namely x squared, right? And then we will have, for this one, we will have x to the first left, because originally it was x to the third power, but we took two of them out, okay? And then for this one, we have plus 8, and the x squared is out already, so this is it. And now, as of this one, Pay attention to what this sign is. This is a minus in between. You have to make sure you bring that down right away because you have the first part right here minus the answer of the second part like that, okay? Anyway, here we have 2 and 16. You can just focus on the number. We know that 2 goes into 2 and also 2 goes into 16. So we can factor out a number 2 like this. But because it was a minus earlier, so technically we are factoring out a negative 2. And now let's see what we have left right here. We can legitimately put down the parentheses right here because we're actually doing the factoring. For this term, originally it was negative 2x, but we factor out negative 2. So that means we have a positive x left inside right here. And originally this was negative 16. We factored it out negative 2. Think about this as negative 16 divided by negative 2. What do we get? It's a positive 8, okay? So this right here is positive 8. And you can just multiply this real quick in your head, uh, just to double check. Negative 2 times x, we do get our negative 2x. Negative 2 times 8, it is the negative 16 right here, okay? So this is the gentleman. And then we'll continue. You see this is the first part, minus the second part. Both of them have this x minus 8 in common, so I can factor that out first. And then as of the reminder, remainder right here, like the remaining part, this is x squared minus 2, like that. This is the remaining part, okay? And this is it. We cannot do anything anymore, so this is it. And the order of the factors, they don't matter, so uh, you can write the x squared minus 2 first if you would like, but this is okay. Now let's do this one. And if you guys would like to try this first, be sure you pause the video and I'll try to work this out, all right? And let me show you guys how to do this one as well, anyway. So I will just show you, let's go ahead and group the first and then the second, the first two and second two like this. For this one, let's see, we see the 2 and 12, so I can factor out the 2, right? And then x to the third power, x squared, I can factor out x squared. And now, originally you have this, but we factored out 2x squared, so we have x to the first power left only, right? And then originally this was a plus 12x squared, we factor out 2x squared. You can think about this as 12 divided by 2, we have plus 6, okay? So that's it. And now, for this part, you see we are going to bring down this sign right away, which is a plus, and I'm looking at this as 5 and 30, right? The number-wise, I can factor out the 5, and I'm going to open the parentheses. In this case, we are just factoring out positive 5. Positive 5x divided by positive 5, we have x. And then positive 30, Factor the other 5, think about it as divided by 5, we get plus 6, okay? So we didn't have to change the sign because we just factor on positive. Anyway, this and that are in common, so let's write it down, and then this and that, we can also put this down right here. In the second parentheses, 2x squared plus 5, and right here we are done. Now moving on to the third one, okay, I'll show you this and that. 6 and 14, what can we factor out? A 2, right? So let's factor out a 2 right here. And then x to the third power, x squared, let's factor out x squared. And then, 6x to the third power, factoring out 2x squared, we have, the number wise is 3, and then we have x to the first power like this. For this one, negative 14 divided by 2, we have negative 7 like this. x squared is out already, so this is it. Now, we have this minus in between, so let's go ahead and put this down right away. 15 and 35, we can factor out a 5, right? Put on the 5, and you see 
This is the same situation like the first one. We are factoring out a negative 5. So this was negative 15x. Factoring out negative 5, we have positive 3x. And then this was a positive 35, but we factored it out a negative 5. 35 divided by negative 5, we have minus 7, okay? And you see this and that, they are the same again, so I can factor that out. And yes, if they are different, we cannot factor anything out, but usually if you are being asked with a factoring question, most likely this parentheses will be the same. So this is the final touch, and we are done right here, okay?